The hook I am using is a Gamagatsu B10S in size 2. And the thread is Vivas 140 power thread in fluorescent orange. Start the thread about two hook eye lengths, back from the eye of the hook. Then create a thread dam on the hook before clipping off the waist. Now attach on a large painted dumbbell eye. To make sure the eyes are secure, make many X wraps and under wraps. Then I like to also put a bit of this UV curing resin on the hook eyes and cure it to make sure they stay secure. Bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. And make a dubbing loop with your thread. Take some pearl ice dub and prepare it by pulling it apart in your fingers many times. Then put that prepared dubbing in your dubbing loop. Also do the same thing with some orange ice dub and add that behind the pearl. Then twist it up. Pick out the dubbing with your bodkin and brush it with some Velcro or a stiff toothbrush. Now proceed to make touching wraps up the hook shank with your dubbing loop, pulling the fibers rearward with every wrap. If you can, make one wrap over the dumbbell eyes as well for a bushier belly. Then capture your loop in front of the eyes and trim off the waist. So this step is really important, don't skip it. You will want to pick out the dubbing with your bodkin and also brush it rearward. Now you don't have to do this, but I like trimming up the fibers at an angle. Now measure out a magnum barred yellow rabbit strip so it extends out to about where the ice dub ends. Cut it to measurement, about where the hook eye is, and then cut a taper at the end of the strip as well. Now measure where the strip will rest on the hook shaft, and pierce the strip hide at that spot with your hook point. Then take your hook off the vise and push the strip the rest of the way through the hook. place the hook back onto the vise. Now pull the strip up firmly and tie it in right behind the hook eye. Trim off any waste. Then clean up the front section with a few wraps of thread. I like to add a drop of UV resin at the spot where the hide is pierced by the hook and cure it. This will help keep the hide in place. Now pull out a bit of olive laser dub and prepare it by pulling apart in your fingers a few times. Place it down on top of your hook in the center of the bunch and tie it in with a few wraps. Then do the same thing with some white laser dubbing, but with a bit less than you use for the olive. Pull back the forward facing fibers and tie in a thread dam in front of those fibers. Make sure you separate the olive dubbing evenly on each side of the hook and then pull all the fibers rearward. If the white dubbing is a bit too long, just pinch it off to about the same length as the ice dub. Now you can whip finish your fly. This is another important step. Use a bodkin to pick out the dubbing a bit and make sure there are no trap fibers. Then use some head cement, or in this case I'm using bone dry resin to cement the head. And there we have it, a compact but heavy weighted perch style streamer that swims hook point up. The fly looks great dry, however I think it looks even better wet. And as you can see, it has some great underwater movement. It definitely has a jigging action, 
but it can also be used as a bottom fly since it swims hook point up. It should minimize the amount of hang-ups on the bottom. But obviously the snag resistance isn't perfect. But it also looks really good moving quickly and evenly through the water as well. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section where I listed all the materials I used on this fly. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.